tackle box in the mail, see what's in it. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Leave a comment below on what you guys want to see in future videos. Guys, I keep asking you guys to do this and you guys just seem not to do it. But listen, I'm getting a lot of people watching these. I mean, not a lot of people, but for the comments, you guys can leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see. So I got this lucky tackle box in the mail today. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what's in it. I'm going to take one of these baits out to the pond right here in the backyard. Got about an hour before it gets dark. So we're going to walk around here and uh, hopefully catch some fish. But let's let's see what's in this box and uh, we'll take one of these lucky tackle box baits and put it to the test. All right, guys, here's this lucky tackle box right here. Let's see what we got in here and what baits that we could possibly throw today and um, what, I, what I think we can go catch some fish on. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I have no idea what that is. Looks like it's almost like a double fluke rig, but it's already pre-made and it's really, that's, that's, that's very weird. I don't know if I'm going to use that today. Right there, got a Livingston square bill, definitely. That's probably what I'll be throwing today. I like that right there. We could, we could probably go catch a few out in the old pond. What else we got? Oh, nice. Got a little walking bait, a little top water. Got a little jerk bait. Looks like we got some little drop shot minnows. That could go good as well, but I do not have my spin rod rigged up at the moment. And we got some beavers. Oh, yeah, we could. Oh, yeah, we could smack them on that if we really wanted to. We're going to decide between the square bill and these beavers right here. What else we got? We got some hooks, VMC. Ooh, that's nice. We also got some tiger bomb. Okay, so let's look and see what we got. We got going on. We got that square bill. Got all those baits. Definitely the beaver. The square bill is going to be today's bait to throw. I want to just bring one rod because if I'm walking around here, it's just so much easier just to grab one rod and work down the bank rather than, you know, rigging up a few baits. But I think I'm going to cover a lot of water today since I don't have too much time before it gets dark. So I think I'm going to throw this square bill right here. You know, you got the reddish, orange belly right there, and you got that that od color that, that green right there on the top that kind of green green pumpkinish color that looks good right there guys we're gonna tie this on my rod we're gonna go out here and go catch a bass oh boy i have one about to eat it right there why'd i reel it away from him and they're schooling right out there holy cow i have one just chasing it i was trying to reel it away from them because they were busting right here my line, Jesus, I'm a mess right now. Man, what if these fish just start biting like crazy? That would be awesome. <laughs> I had one chasing it on the first cast and I pulled it away because I saw him busting the water out here. Look at him busting. Might need to put that little jerk bait on, honestly. There is fish. What is going on right now? I had to go grab this little jerk bait after I saw what I saw. I could not take it. There he is. First cast. First cast on it. First cast on that jerk bait. Oh boy. Something tried to eat him. Look at that, guys. Went and adjusted, grabbed that jerk bait. First cast, as you can tell, something definitely tried to eat him. Maybe there's some big ones out here. <laughs> Look at that baby little bass. And this jerk bait and the lucky tackle box. Look at these tadpoles in the water, by the way. Everywhere. Let's see if we can get back in there and catch another. All right, is that first one I just caught on the first cast. This thing's so small, it's hard to cast, but I was jerking it. I'm gonna try to reel this thing very slow. I know that sounds weird, and you know, quote unquote, a jerk bait sounds like you're gonna be jerking it the whole time, but I'm telling you, I've caught more fish reeling a jerk bait slow than I have jerking it. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just true. I've caught so many fish slow rolling a jerk bait, guys. Absolute, just, I've caught some good fish doing it, especially on Lanier. I've caught some big spotted bass. I'll just slowly reel this thing. He hammered that thing. I'll reel this thing super slow. Give it a pop every once in a while, and we'll just destroy it. I see fish coming up out here. Let's see if we can get one. 
Well guys, there is a head of a gar right here. That's, uh, that is definitely a sight. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right there. Look at these fish out here. These bass are either little babies or some of them might not even be bass. I don't, I don't even know. He just hammered that thing though. Maybe they're one that jerked. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll experiment around with it. Jesus Christ. Golly. He absolutely hammered it. This is actually a good one. Golly. I must have got him in the side of the face. Because he feels big. Oh, he's pretty good one, yeah. He ain't bad. He's way bigger than that last one. About a pound and a half. There we go. Absolutely choked that thing. You talk about eating it. He tried to get it in the back of his throat, but with me jerking it, I guess he could not get that thing. Pretty fish, guys. Look, look how beautiful that fish is. You can't beat that on the jerk bait. Absolutely choked it. Let's see if we can get some more. Let's get a release on her. There she goes. I was gonna walk back to my side of the pond, but let's see if we can get another one here. I'm telling you, they're schooling around eating on this bait. I've never, I haven't really seen it like this out here. That fish absolutely <laughs> hammered it. I'm telling you, when I was jerking it, it just went to a, it felt like I just hooked into a tree. That's how you want them to eat it right there. They're actually wanting this thing jerked. I'm, I'm not doing it, I'm not working it super slow like I really would if it was super cold or, you know, in winter time and when I would normally, you know, work this thing a lot slower, but. I'm trying to cover as much water as possible with this today since I don't have too much time. And they're busting really everywhere, so I ain't really focused on working this thing super slow. I'm just popping this thing, trying to cover as much water as possible. Should be a lot of fish on this point right here. It's right here, pretty much how this pond is, is there's a little pocket back there, a pocket back there, and a pocket back by my house. It's pretty much the main lake part, I guess you could say, of this pond. There he is. Pretty good one. Right off the end of that grass. That just shows right there, guys. You don't have to sit here and throw, like I was throwing this jerk bait and all that bait out there. With what I just said, with throwing this thing in super shallow water with a bunch of stuff on the ground, especially in that grass, to make sure you don't get a lot of grass on this bait I was popping my rod up so I just bought it right past that grass patch right there brought my rod up was twitching it the bait was dashing I was giving it a little pause twist twitch he came out of that grass and ate it look at that pretty fish let's get a release on her. perfect demonstration for versatility right there with that bait went from out deep catching them up here shallow by this grass let's see if we can get us another one before it gets dark you talk about straight finesse in this bait through all this stuff right here. I mean, this is literally as finesse as it, it gets. I just had one pick it up. This is definitely as finesse as it gets when it when working a jerk bait like this. I mean, I'm just slowly weaving this thing past this stuff and trying to entice that fish to come out and eat it. And this is not a standard way that you would work a jerk bait, but when you have to adapt to fish in this thing, whether it's shallow or deep water or whatever structure you're around. I mean, this is what you have to do to catch those fish. Got you a little tree right here. See if we can throw off the end of it and catch one. Oh my God. <laughs> that was amazing. You cannot beat that. Get up here. <laughs> you guys just witnessed an insane catch right there on this jerk bait. Right by that tree, just like I was talking about. I threw it on the back end of the tree where it is literally six inches of water. 
popped my rod up so that jerk bait would creep over the tree popped that thing a few more times i mean the bait was so shallow that the bait was coming out of the water kind of like a top water he just came up and ate it look how pretty that fish is all about the same size nothing huge but god that's just fun when you can catch them like that it shows really how versatile that bait is catching them on this grass catching some out deep that we're schooling then catch them on these trees doesn't matter how shallow the water is how deep the water is you can catch them on an old jerk bait there she goes throw along the same tree guys see if there's another one i went around the back side which is something i would normally never do I'm literally enticing these fish to come out of this structure. I'm not doing anything different than that. Pretty much like you're sight fishing. You know, I mean, I'm not even working this bait how I'd normally work it. I mean, I'm, I'm literally creeping it around that structure. I mean, I'm in like six inches of water right there and that fish just came out of that tree and just annihilated it. That just shows that you don't have to have, you know, all these fancy baits and everything to catch these fish. I mean, you can do really whatever you'd like and still catch these fish. I mean. That's, honestly, this jerk face, the last thing I would throw on that later on, lay down right there, especially on the backhand side like that. But if you can adjust to the situations, figure out what you're fishing, and figure out how to work this bait for this fish to eat it, you can get them to eat anything. Golly, he hammered it. Holy smokes. God, that fish hit it so hard. He, <laughs> that was insane. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, you see that on the bank? See how that fish just came off the bank? He's about to hammer this jerk bait. Just like that. Oh, God, he came off. God, that's missed two. That was insane, guys. I literally just had one hammer it through in there. Oh my God, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. But he got it. it. Took me three casts to get this guy, but he still got it. Look at that jerk bait hanging out of his mouth. Golly, I want to say that's multiple fish right there. That's definitely at least two fish possibly three threw in there had one hammer it i'm just, i'm thinking it was him threw in there a second cast i saw something come off of the bank right there coming towards my bait and missed again and then threw back in there caught this beautiful fish you guys cannot beat catching fish on a jerk bait like this see you buddy i thought that was an absolute toad guys i really thought that was about a four or five pounder. He didn't even move when I hooked that into him. He absolutely destroyed that thing. It's very shallow in this corner back here. So I'm having to keep my rod tip up as I'm popping that bait. As you guys can tell, just slightly. It's like I'm finesse fishing this thing. I mean, just barely taking that thing, slowly reeling it. I mean, people don't work a jerk bait like this. I promise you. You just have to adapt and how these fish are wanting it and where you're fishing. That just shows you. Last cast. See if we can get one. All right guys, just got back to my house. This little old guy that I was just smucking him out there with. I was only fishing for about 35 minutes, caught like five or six fish. And I'm gonna let you guys know that this pond isn't no crazy pond guys. It is honestly pretty hard to get these fish to bite. And today was a perfect demonstration and how to adjust to catch those fish and especially adjust within the bait that you're using like if you only have one bait maybe two baits but they're not eating it switch it up work it differently you know i went out there i said i was going to choose one bait out of the lucky tackle box for this ltb challenge to go out there and catch them i chose that crankbait to cover a lot of water because i did not have much time did not get many bites on it or i went out there i didn't get any bites at all i threw like two or three casts saw them coming up hitting the water i remember that there's a little finesse jerk bait in there Grabbed that thing, tied it on, first cast out there, caught one schooling. Went out to this point, um, ended up catching one out on the point that was schooling. Once that bite turned off, it's usually a 10 to 15 minute window when that sun's coming down, those fish are really chomping. And that's really when those fish were eating that. I decided to take this thing up shallow around some grass and some trees to see if I can get something to come out of that. Taught you guys about popping that thing up, 
to get out of all that gook on the bottom and to fish that thing in shallow water efficiently. And that just shows, guys, that you can take whatever bait it is anywhere and catch fish on it. I caught fish out in that thing out deep schooling, caught one off that point, caught one off some grass, caught one off that tree, and also caught some more up shallow. I mean, guys, that's as versatile as it gets when it comes to fishing right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more Lucky Tackle Bash Challenge, be sure lucky tackle box if you guys want to see more lucky tackle box challenges be sure to smash that like button be sure to comment below on what you guys want to see next and also be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell thank you guys so much for the support it really means the world and i'll catch you all in the next video